today I want to show you something that I mentioned a long time ago a little bit about gold panning and uh, I'm going to show you how to how to classify in a separate video but in this video I want to show you the purpose of a magnet and how it helps you by removing the magnetic material out of your concentrates it helps you in your panning tremendously it helps you in finding your gold so what I've got here is some um, some uh, magnetics I've removed previously and here is a tray of magnetic materials I've dried out in the past it's uh, really quite pretty up close it's got a glittery shiny look to it I don't know if that shows on camera very well but this is the dried material the purely magnetic material I've taken out in the past and I have a purpose for that and that purpose is going to be for my electronics lab for cores for my uh, coil generator coils anyway that's what it looks like when it's done this is what it looks like after it's first been separated what you're going to need is three pans your concentrates and a magnet and uh, I do have these on Michigan Prospector's store for sale for anybody interested. After you see this video, I believe that you will be interested. So I've got here some concentrates. A lot of them that I've collected. And the idea, the reason I've got three pans, first I'm going to take and dip the magnet into the concentrates. Then I'm going to put it into the first pan, and then from there I'm going to rewash it into the second pan. From there I'm going to rewash it into the third pan, and then you have your concentrates. And the first two pans go back in to be, uh, well then there are, those will be prepared for uh, further processing to get your gold. A uh, cup of coffee, for some, is considered a necessity. Uh, that helps. So, I can start out with just some of this with, I, I think I'm going to actually do, I might get another pan yet on here. It's going to make it easier for me to keep track of what I've processed and what I haven't. First of all, you want to get a pan. All your pans should have some water and just a drop of dish soap is fine to break up the surface tension of that water. Jet Dry is also very good. You can find it at some dollar stores. It's used for uh, um, dishwashers to break up the surface tension. So, got that. I'm going to spoon some of my concentrates into this pan. So this is a re pure raw concentrates to be processed out. So once I get the magnetics out, it will be so much easier to work with this. Now, I've got multiple pans here because your magnet is going to pick up some gold and some non-magnetics. When you, when you dig in there, let me show you here, you're going to get a whole mess of stuff on the bottom of that magnet. And those magnetics are going to grab other material with it. And we don't want that. We don't want to lose any of our gold. So first I'm going to dip into this farther away pan here, right there. All right, and then I'm going to come in with a load from there. I'll dip it in a couple times, fill that magnet up. I'm going to come into my first pan, see with that load, and I'm going to drop that in. Okay. So first of all, I want to process everything I can get out of here into my first pan, and I'm going to keep on dipping in and. Well, you lift up the spring, there's a spring loaded in here and it makes the magnet come up and it drops all the magnetics. I'm going to keep doing this until I'm not getting any more magnetics out of this first pan. And then that will be considered, look at that bunch. That's a nice load of magnetics right there. But there could be gold in there and that's why we have to do a three pan uh, process. You can see that I have quite a large volume of 
black sands, uh, metallics, mixed with other. You can possibly see, I don't know if the camera shows it, there's some blinds in there. Piece of that pesky pine needle from the trees here gets in now and then. So you can see that the magnet picks up other stuff when it when the, the magnetics are attracted to this other stuff will be drawn up and trapped with it that's why this is a multi-step process so some time has passed and I'm taking my time I think what was this six tablespoons maybe next time I'll do half that because it's, it's a lot um, I'm getting a little bit reduced and eh, it's still quite a bit in there still getting quite a bit in there the reason I need to take out, the reason you should take out the magnetic materials and separate it is because it's really heavy. Gold is going to be the heaviest thing in your pan, but the black sands are very heavy and the next heaviest thing just about. There may be some, some other minerals in there like lead, but anyway, you want to get the heavy stuff out as convenient as possible with the magnet before you process on something like the blue bowl as that zoomed out all the way or the Miller table so that helps a lot with your processing it makes your gold recovery more productive especially for fine flower gold like we have here now here is a very extreme example of what I'm talking about. I have, you can see that's more blonde sand in here now. I've removed all the heavy magnetics. Now in here is also a mixture of some blonde sand, non-magnetics, and gold. So I have to do the process over again. This is a very extreme example because look at the content here. This is greatly diminished and there is a lot, look at how thick that is, a lot of material in this bowl, a lot. So the majority of that, I would say, was magnetic. Now this is ready to run through the Miller table. This can go aside. And now the next phase of the process, I get to do it all over again. Because what we want to do is run this all again so that we make sure we only have magnetics and anything non-magnetic is going to be left behind. So I'll just run this through here. Now this is going to be heaping with magnetics. And because that can also grab a lot of non-magnetics. That's why we're going to do this a few times. You can see some blind sands laying down in the bottom there. It's going to leave behind a lot of non-magnetics and hopefully any gold that might be in there. Okay, now you see how much material was actually grabbed up by the magnet along with the magnetic materials. And I got this much out of this pan. There's just the bottom layer is left in there and I've got this much collected in the magnetics. Pretty thick, uh, almost a quarter inch thick. So quite a bit came out of here and so now I can put this back in here because pretty much all that's going to be now is the uh, non-magnetic materials along with some gold hopefully so and it's pretty thick and heavy stuff it settles in the bottom so I'll get that in there and then we're gonna pan this one out back into this pan and that'll be the third and final stage and then we'll be pretty sure that we've got all the magnetic separated and anything that may contain gold will be back in here. So I put some fresh water and dish soap. Just one drop of dish soap is all you need. Keep that gold from floating. And we start the process again. At first there's going to be a lot per scoop. So and actually right now I'm just sort of skimming the surface to uh, pull up the magnetics. I'm not even touching it. I want to get the magnetics to come up there. That's a lot. It's going to be a... For some odd reason, well I know why. It's a shipping industry in Michigan. There's 
a lot of iron containing minerals in the Great Lakes shores. So you're going to have more magnetic materials in your beach sand here than you will in most other places. And now you see how much was left behind in the second bowl because of the sheer amount of magnetics here and I should clarify because of the shipping industry we have a history of shipwrecks in the Great Lakes so there's been a lot of iron ore broken free from uh, crashed and sunken ships which gives us this after a while from the working of the water in the lakes that stuff becomes these fine black sand particles. A lot of it was ore and a lot of it comes from slag as well that was dumped or sunk due to shipwrecks. Now I'm going to run this a third time, this pan we're done with, and run it into my final container. This contains my my pure black sands from another process and then later I'll dry that and then it goes over into my dish which I think I showed you before not much left just a little bit of blonde sand and a little bit of possibly garnet in there and I'll show you how you know when you're done when your magnet is barely picking up anything at all then you pretty much know you're done and that's all that's left in this pan hardly anything at all so we're pretty sure this is as clean as can get the magnetic sands this can go back in here and I can be quite confident that I have uh, processed out all the magnetic sand that I could get and the only thing left behind is lighter stuff and gold and what I'm left with is just a tiny tiny bit on the bottom of this pan it just covers the pan here a lot of that's blonde sand but I'll run that on the Miller table later that'll be a separate video and we'll see what's in here anyway I do hope you like this video give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't got some more exciting videos to come this is Troy from Michigan Prospectors talk to you later